Poppy, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, you know my belly scratch. Don't mind my appearance. I just woke up not that long ago, actually. It's 11... It's after 11.30, and I honestly didn't really even want to sleep that late, because I have awful work today, and there was just some stuff that I want to get done. Like, I have to clean my room. I'm going to attempt to clean underneath my bed, even though my bed is super duper heavy, and it's hard to pull it out and move it out of the way to get underneath my bed. And I just have some other errands I have to run to, like I have to go to the bank, and um, I was going to look for some stuff to start to change my room around. I'm thinking of changing the color and making it look more mature because, you know, I'm going to run those errands. Jay is actually working today, so I won't be able to see him until later tonight. But another thing, too, is... I don't know if anyone else has ever had this happen to them where like they wake up in the morning and they're like the only person in their house. Sometimes I like it, but then sometimes I'm kind of like, what the heck, you know, you could at least wake me up and tell me where everybody's going. But another thing that I want to say is that I just realized today was January 13th. So it is mine and Mr. J's two years and 10 months anniversary. So... I don't know, every, I mean, we don't really do everything, like, each monthly anniversary. We only do one on, like, the yearly anniversaries, but we, of course, you know, say, like, happy anniversary to each other, and, like, I make sure we at least try to spend the day together, even though that's not going to be possible today because he is working a later shift today, so I'm not really going to be able to see him, and plus all my errands I have to run today, I really have to get them done, so. I know I'll we'll always see him another day, so it's not really that big of a deal, but I'm excited because it'll only be two months from today that it'll be our three-year anniversary, so I'm really excited. I mean, I can't even believe I've been with this amazing person for almost three years now. You want me to rub your belly? You want, oh yeah, you rub your belly. Oh. There you are. Hey Maggie Moo. Hello little girl. Hello. Okay so <clears throat> I'm at the dollar store. I just went to the bank and I got gas before so I'm hoping at the dollar store that I could find like uh, a mason jar, like a, just a simple mason jar just to put like my pens and pencils that I keep on my desk in because like I said before, I want to start to change up my room, so I want to make it more of, like, an around-the-world theme. So I'm hoping, like, you know, I can make it a little more, like, rustic, I guess you could say, and, like, antique-looking. So I'm going to see if I could hopefully find it there, but if not, Michael's is right next door, so I'm going to pop in there. I know that they carried them before, so I'm hoping that they still have them. So I couldn't help myself. And Michael's... Instead of looking just for a mason jar, well, I didn't really see any I liked in the first phase, first place. So I started walking around, and that's probably the worst thing that I could ever do, is start walking around in Michael's, because I start to get these craft ideas, and I'm one of those people who would literally do these craft ideas in my head, so I spend money on stuff that maybe isn't so important at the time. So, in Michael's, I spent, like, $30 on... Well, it's stuff from my room, it's, you know, it's good. I mean, I'll show you. I can't really see them, but I have one of them. Well, one actually suitcase one in my room already. But the other container I have underneath it, I don't know if I really like it. So I figured I'd get a bigger suitcase looking one to put underneath it. And then when I get home, I'll show you what they look like more. They're, I don't know, I think they look awesome. So once I redo my room with the colors and everything I have in mind, I think that it'll come out pretty good. I'm just going to go to shop right now because I'm going to pick up some stuff for me and Jay tomorrow because we're going to go up to Red Bank, which is one of my most favorite places in the world because, well, you'll see tomorrow when we do our vlog on it, but I'm excited. So I'm probably going to head up there. It's probably around, like, I don't even know what time it is. But I'm going to go there before it gets too late so I can come... Oh, it's 3.15. Jeez. I'm probably going to go there before it gets too late and then um, go home and try to rearrange my room a little bit again. So I came back from food shopping at ShopRite. That was a nice nose wipe before that. 
I just picked up some stuff for me and Jay for tomorrow since we're going to the bank. I asked him if he wanted cream soda or Pepsi. And I thought, honestly, he'd pick cream soda because he's, like, addicted to it right now. But he picked Pepsi, so... And I was so tempted to get one of these bottles because I think they're awesome. And um, I actually saved the first um, Coca-Cola bottles that me and Jay ever drink out of, too. So I actually have them... If you can see, they're right up there. I have both of those, so I figure I could add this to my collection. So, I'm going to show you uh, some of the stuff that I bought when I went out. Some of the errands that I ran. Since I'm changing my room, I want to change some stuff up, but I'm really into like the vintage look and everything right now. That probably wasn't even pointed at me. So, I bought this Coca-Cola glass. It's like a Coca-Cola can, but in glass form, so I thought it would be an awesome pencil holder. So I went right ahead and put my pencils in there. I think they look absolutely lovely. And then, well, I bought that at the dollar store, and then at Michael's, I bought another one of, well, I bought this trunk, which I actually already started to put stuff in. I thought it was awesome. So I put that in there. I figured... Why not have some more storage, especially if it looks cool? This one I had bought, uh, I think it was last year, and then I bought this one, which I really like too. And I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put them and what exactly I want to put in them. I think that storage like this is awesome, especially if you could display it, because I feel like some things, like when you put them away, you put them in a container, but you don't like know where to put it. Like, for instance, my attic is absolutely filled with stuff, so to keep putting stuff up there is, and say if I want to take it back down, you know, at least I still have it in my room to put somewhere. I always tend to sit in my room for hours figuring out what the heck I want to put in certain things, where I want to put them, and all that good stuff. So, I'm going to probably be doing that because I'm thinking of putting in one of my containers all my winter stuff, like my hats, my gloves, and... I don't know what I'm gonna do about my scarves. I'm gonna put them in that empty drawer, but. Harley, what do you think yeah. this is? Yeah, that's right. Get out. Excuse me. 